everybody. This is the the week strand, and here I'm sitting, and we're gonna have our 150th review today. And um, I love political thrillers and paranoia thrillers and stuff like that, and they should be exactly like this free Florentine and steak, absolutely exquisite. So sit back, enjoy while I review all the president's men from 1976. me from uh, tomorrow or the day after tomorrow in Florence hopefully right 150 videos last time we were in Lithuania this time we're in Roma so even if you know the details about the Watergate scandal and even if you do know the historical you know, events that took place during it this is a really, really, really good movie to see. The Watergate building was burglarized. The Watergate building was a place where the Democrats were having some kind of seminars or, you know, headquarters or whatever. However, a bunch of people burglarized it and uh, Carl Bernstein and, and uh, Bob Woodward uh, were, you know, uh, covering this. Well, not, not entirely together at first, but they came together uh, after a while, after the uh, people who uh, committed these crimes were sent to relatively uh, light sentences. So they start digging and digging and digging. And they're coming up with more and more and more weird things and dirt and political, uh, you know, dynamite. Most of this is due to their very important source, the secretive Deep Throat, played by Hal Holbrook. And as the political scandal is climbing higher and higher on the hierarchy in Washington, the risks that they're taking just grows and grows. Who can they really trust? Or uh, is, is the US government secretly you know, watching them? And uh, are, might their lives be in danger or stuff like that? And are they going to be able to publish this one? Dustin Hoffman and Robert Redford plays Woodward and Bernstein. And I've never made a secret of that I don't really like Dustin Hoffman that much. I think he's a good actor, but I've never been a huge fan of his. I think he's, he's talented, but he's not my type of... But for some reason, I've never been a huge fan of him. Redford, on the other hand, is a is, is, is favorite of mine, and he does his maybe his third best performance of all time. Butch Cassidy and The Sting, I think, can't be touched in that department. Now, this movie has so much tension to itself, and it is so fascinating, and it is so unpredictable, despite the fact that it is based on a true story, and it follows very closely what actually happened uh, with the dig and the uh, Watergate scandal and all that stuff. And this is one of these very rare cases where I think it is a benefit to the movie that it was shot very close to the events that actually happened. Uh, I am a very strong believer that you should wait a, a considerable time to shoot a movie about something that has happened for real very recently. You, and you should never make a biopic about a guy who is still alive. What if you would make a heroic uh, portrait of a politician who would then you know joins join a death cult and start shooting people in his elderly days or something like that it you never know what's going to happen and you need time to process the thing but in this case it works great this movie plays out a little bit like a pseudo documentary and uh, William Goldman and Alan J. Pakula who is uh, writer and director of this one is absolutely amazing. They, 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 they have crafted a great and amazingly tight movie. Despite two hours and 18 minutes long, the movie has so much tension. It is so well played. It is so well made. 
it has great cinematography and it has that edge that 1970s paranoia thrillers had it is impossible to duplicate and it is very contagious for your movie it just covers it in, in an uncertain unpleasantness that uh, I've always been a huge fan of fucking birds this is the best journalism movie that I have ever seen uh, it is yet another chapter in my ongoing war with the incredibly awful history of uh, the Academy Awards that in 1976 there were released so many fantastic movies and yet they, they, they made this totally fine boxing movie to win over this and this and this great job everybody great job well at least uh, Jason Robarbs bagged another Academy Award for playing their boss he's great this is a very this is a very tense a very well-made movie it has amazing performances it is an important movie and it shows how important a uh, free and independent press is because no matter who is running any country they must know at every point they are objected to scrutiny now you may not like this but uh, you know you don't you don't miss the free and independent press until it's gone and then well you're screwed if you have for some reason not seen all the presidents man i urge you strongly to see this one and it is kind of fascinating to see what the sequel baiting in the at the end of the post actually was leading up to if you had no idea about that one a great political thriller a great paranoia thriller a great journalism movie a great political movie this is one of the strongest thrillers dramas kind of a things that they did in the 1970s i'm giving this movie 92 points it has so much tension and it moves along so fast despite this movie being 40 years old it, it is relatively fast paced and the chemistry between hoffman and redford is undeniable all, all the president's man isn't perfect but it is a very 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 interesting fascinating and important movie yeah so we're only getting started here in Italy. I'll see you next time from, well, so-and-so reviewing, well, such and such. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much.